All right, guys. So I've done a little bit more wiring on the motor. Um, I've kind of gotten to the point where we're <laughs> it's as silly as it sounds. We're waiting for a couple more pieces now. Um, we need a Dodge truck throttle cable, and we're going to convert the four throttle pedal to work with the Dodge cable. So I'm waiting for that to come in. And uh, I think that's it, really. I'm waiting for that to come in for the... Oh, and then we're going to convert the Dodge alternator into a uh, like a one-wire internally regulated alternator. So I'm waiting for that little part to come in to convert that. So that way you don't have to run um, one of them old-style like Chrysler voltage regulators that are like super janky so like they burn out all the time and you know i've got buddies that are running them on their coming swaps and they're just they're just terrible so anyway what we're going to work on now why um while we have a free a little bit of free time is the exhaust so we've got it's not cramped for space down here but we're going to come out of that turbo and go down and just basically kind of build a downpipe and then uh, tie into the factory exhaust. So <clears throat> in an effort to save this guy a little bit of money, I did some research and they still make a factory exhaust for this truck with the 6.9 diesel in it. So I actually bought it from O'Reilly's. I bought the whole complete exhaust system from O'Reilly's. It was like $200. So what I'm going to do is just put the factory exhaust in it and then tie into my downpipe into the factory exhaust and, you know, save the guy a bunch of money. Because if we would have taken it like to an exhaust shop or if I would have sat there and pieced the whole thing together, it would have cost him hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So what I actually did was to or what I'm going to do to build the downpipe is if you guys have been following me for a while, my exhaust guy, Brian Jones, super great dude. I called him up and said, hey, man, I need a couple 90s, a couple 45s, and we'll build a little downpipe. He said, dude, come on over, man. I've got tons of just stuff laying around. You can have as much of it as you want. So that's what I did. I went over to Brian's and got just basically his scrap bin of three-inch uh, mandrel bent tubing. So what, what we're going to do is, um, or how I like to build exhaust is I'll take and do uh, make a 90 and then I'll make like a 45 or a 30 or, you know, make a couple different angles. And those will be like my templates. So I'll take like a 90 and I'll sit in there. Okay, this 90 kind of works. Then I'll take a 45 and kind of put it in there. Okay, this is working. And then what I'll do is I'll go over to my pieces and I'll cut a 90 and a 45. Because I know I'll need a 90 and a 45. And then I'll weld them together. And then I'll still have those two template pieces and I'll just keep using them through the exhaust system so it saves you a little time i've already kind of done like a rough like setup so i think what we're going to need is a 90 off the back of the turbo and then we're going to go right into a 45 and then we're going to come down a little bit and then we're probably going to 45 again and that should get us pretty close to where we need to be so um there's already like 190 and 145 ish in here that brian gave me so I'm going to trim that up just a little bit and then uh, take the 45 and um, tape them together and see if that'll work for me and, um, and go from there, basically. So stay tuned. I'm going to get some PPEs around and uh, get to work. All right, so I've got a 90 cut and then I've got, I don't even know what degree this was, but... Um, it looks like it might work anyway, but uh, I just taped them together, and then this is the the mouth. I don't even know what you call this. This is the exhaust V band on the turbo. So I cut this piece off, this factory piece, and what I'm gonna do is just weld this to the end of this, and then V band it together. This is the factory V band that holds the exhaust on. So what I'm gonna do now. I'm going to go put this piece in the in the truck and then I'm going to take this and test fit it down in there and see if what I need to do here, like this bend, this 90, I know is going to work. But after the 90, we need to 
like 45 away from the starter. So I'm gonna go put this piece in and then we'll test piece fit this piece and see where we're at. So now I'll just take my tape together piece. We test fitted this piece and this angle is just not enough. So I went to my test pile and found another, I'm guessing this is a 45, just a little bit more angle, which I think will be enough. So I'm gonna untape this and then tape this piece on. Um, in case you're wondering on how to get straight cuts, what I do is I just take, similar to what I did on my rear end, I just take a pipe wrap or some construction paper and then just wrap it around your, your tube and then it makes a nice even uh, line so you can just mark it and then cut it and then you know it's square. And then another thing you could do that I've learned is um, if you're going to be making exhaust pipes and stuff or intake tubing or anything like that, you're going to be doing a lot of it. Um, I like to buy 180s because they're uh i mean they're not cheaper than like a 45 but they're like a little bit more than a 45 and you get four 45s you know or two 90s or like uh you know whatever then you got like everything you would ever need you don't have to worry about buying oh i might need six 90s i need six 45s and blah 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 and then when you do it like that you end up with like a million freaking little six inch pieces of of pipe laying everywhere that you know essentially you paid for that but you know and then you got you know all this scrap so i just buy 180s cut what i need out of that So we just turn this 45 a little bit, put it a little bit above the angle here. It's kind of a pain to get my hand up in here, but I think I might have turned it a little bit too far. should work out pretty good. I'm gonna go tack this together and then we'll test fit it again. All right, so I got this tacked together now. tight all right so we've got the top all done now which that was fairly easy we're gonna we we're able to do that in two bends so what i'm gonna do is get the welder on over here so it's gonna be loud for a second but i'm just gonna grab this other bend that we made earlier and just take it down there with me um We'll go underneath and just make make it come you know down and away from the engine just a little bit 
I don't have the factory exhaust yet. Um, so I don't know where I gotta run it, but um, so there's our downpipe. It looks pretty good. So if I roll this a little bit. Because I can kind of see where the factory exhaust is going to go on the body. So if we roll this a little bit, like this, and then this is not going to work. Another piece, real quick. I'm back. On this other piece, looks like a nice little. See if this piece was just a little bit more It'd be perfect. But my piece is gonna work. Pretty sure this piece isn't gonna work either, but yeah. This is just too much. So I'm going to go try and trim a little bit off this piece. Let's see what we come up with there. I'll bring it back. Sure, pay. Alright. I'm back with my Sharpie. Okay. For my next trick, I'm gonna make sure that you can get this down up in here from the bottom. Yeah. I'm gonna go attach this up top.
so as you can see our downpipe fits up in there real nice we've got the slight 60 degree elbow I guess ish coming around and then you can see it kind of points towards the transmission but I did it on purpose because you can kind of see in the body where it's indented where the factory exhaust goes and you can see the factory exhaust back there but you can kind of see where it comes up this way and rides up in here so I've kind of got this pointed this way so that way it kind of shoots over and then straightens back up and goes down the body where the factory exhaust is so if we take this little 30 degree bend here stick her up in there it pretty much shoots right in the factory spot all the way down there so I think this should be great um, it's plenty away from the transmission cross member and everything so what I'm gonna do is mark this mark this tube I'm pointing with the camera sorry mark this tube and then take this whole thing back out go over on the bench weld it all together and then put it all in for the I guess I'm gonna be the final time um, yeah the rest of it we can kind of weld it all up in here so I gotta clean this piece anyways got burrs all over it so um, burrs and stuff sorry burrs and stuff all over it so I'll mark this piece and then take it out go weld her up I've got the downpipe done yeah so this wasn't entirely way too difficult um, it was time consuming but it wasn't difficult the trick is to just have all your parts and pieces ready to go anyway just you know when you're doing something like this you just got to take your time uh you don't want to you know make the downplay get 90 percent of the way complete and then you realize that the first 10 percent it's hitting the starter and you got to redo everything from there you know over there back so it's just you know take your time one one piece at a time if you have to and get it all snaked around or whatever and then uh you know weld it all up so i've welded it all up hit it with some high temp aluminized paint kind of keep some of the rust off of it and everything so i made sure that this thing fits from the bottom so you can snake it up through the bottom um so if for some reason you ever got to service something you could just take it out or whatever so until we get the rest of the exhaust that i've ordered um this is as much as i'm going to make uh this should be plenty far enough away from the engine compartment wing getting soot inside there and all that so um I thought we we're gonna drive the truck anyway, but um, I'm gonna throw that back in, and then um, I've got the wire. Move this out of the way real quick. Um, I've got the wiring. This is the ground. I've got the wiring for the electric fans uh, wired and everything. I've got the sender in there. Um, uh, the only thing I got left to do is this kind of looks like a mess right now, but. There's two wires for key on power, and then there's two green wires for uh, uh, AC control. So as you notice, the fan is missing out of here. I tried to run the AC and everything to get, to figure out which wire is which so I can wire the fans into the AC because you want the electric fans to turn on when the AC turns on. And then there was something living inside here and it caught on fire so i had to disassemble the air box real quick and get that crap all out of there before you know you know that happened so that's why that's all tore apart right now um yeah so i actually got the drive shafts back from the drive shaft shop i'm gonna throw those in put the downpipe back on and uh probably put the core support back on and basically just start reassembling this and get it to a certain point where you know we can we can at least drive it uh around so it's coming along pretty quick um not really much left to do other than make some intake uh intercooler piping and a couple wires and uh and that's really about it check fluids and stuff on random things but uh yeah that's that's it really so we're gonna keep rolling 
um, see how far we can make it today. So, I'm pretty much finished with the Ford for now until we get some more parts. I had a small issue with some clearance on the cooling fans, so I'm going to have to kind of punt and figure out what's going on without. I took some measurements and I figured they would work, but uh, apparently they don't work. So, uh, I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with that. But, this is where we're at. So, uh, it's, you know, it's running. Um got half exhaust on so a couple more little things button up and we'll be uh we'll be driving this whole hot rod so thanks for stopping by thanks for watching and uh we'll catch you on the next video